G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. I'm going to be showing you a great tip in regards to the tech tree and the things that you should not invest in. And at the moment, one thing you don't need to invest in is Starship Design. You can see here that I have not put a point into Starship Design and I'll just show it here. It is, you can see there's nothing there. In fact, I need, I can unlock it if I want to. I have two skill points ready to go, but essentially I shouldn't be able to use anything that needs Starship design when I am working on my ship. So here's my uh, Starship. I'm at my base. I'm going to go into my uh, ship builder menu. You can do this at any of the Starship ports. I just chose this one because it has a, a good selection. So we'll go in and view the ship and we want to modify it through the ship builder. We'll take the cargo for example. This particular ship came with this particular one which is a S201 cargo hold and it holds 720. Let's just say we want to upgrade that. You can see that is Starship Design Rank 1. If we take that off and just delete it we're going to need to add a new cargo hold there. So let's go into add, find our cargo. And you can see these ones down the bottom, they're all grayed out. I cannot put them on. Uh, this one isn't grayed out at the moment because I took it off and essentially it's allowing me to put it back on if I want to. But let's just say I wanted to upgrade to this particular one here. This holds 1480 cargo, but I can't select it. So what we need to do is we need to, we can select the one that we deleted or we can select one uh, that is lower. We just need to place it and then we need to basically just scroll through the different available options. And if you keep moving them around, you'll see that we have other options here. This is the one that we wanted that we couldn't get. If you just hit the select button on your mouse, you can see now that that is a Starship Design Rank 3 cargo hold. It gives me 1480 cargo. And just to show that it does work, I am going to exit out and save it. And come back out and go back in just to show you. I'll just show you one more time that I don't have that perk. You can see here it is not highlighted. There is no skill points in that tree. And we'll go back into the ship builder. And you can see there it is sitting there. I'll highlight it again and it is a rank 3 item. So essentially you can do this with any item. I'll show you how to do it again one more time. We'll pick something else. Um, there is a, well there we go, we'll take the, we've got this shield up here. That's a rank 2 shield. We'll just drag that off at the moment. And we want to add a new shield. We'll scroll down here and we'll find, there we go, there's a rank 4 one. Pretty expensive but we won't upgrade to that but yep we can't highlight that so we will come back out and we will delete this one all right we're going to go in and add so we'll add the one that we can choose uh, we'll just choose this one All right, so as I said before, just need to toggle through on the keyboard. It's an S and until you get to the very bottom will be the most expensive. And I think it might have been that one we were wanting to change to. And just hit the accept button with your mouse. And there we go. We have a rank four system sitting on our ship. You can see over there at the bottom left hand corner, Starship Design rank four required for this particular module. And I will escape out and save this one. And there we go. We have upgraded two modules on our ship that we shouldn't technically be allowed to. So I will point that out that this could be something that they do fix. But at the moment, it is perfectly fine to do this. So I hope this was helpful, guys. If it was, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. I'm going to doing a lot more videos on Starfield that can hopefully help you guys out. So once again, thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video.